Hi there. I'm going to show you how to bisect a segment and how to construct a perpendicular bisector all using a compass and a straight edge. Here we have a straight edge. It looks like a ruler and you might actually have a ruler of your own. We're not going to be using the inches or the centimeters on this. We only need this for the nice straight plastic or metal edge that a ruler actually has. So that's why I'm calling it a straight edge and not a ruler. A uh, second tool that we're going to use today is a compass. This is a compass. You should have one that's either metal or plastic and make sure that you have a nice sharpened pencil or a piece of graphite there. All right, so let's get started. We have here a line and in a mathematical sense it extends in both directions forever. So let's make a segment. We're going to start by making a segment using our compass. So we're going to stretch out this arm nice and wide here and we're going to bring up one of the points onto our line and then we're going to use to make this a tiny tiny little arc right there and so that's going to be one of the segment points now I'm going to not change the arm I'm going to switch it to the other side here I haven't changed this this is still as wide as it ever was and I'm going to bring the point onto that little marking and I'm going to make a little mark right here like so and now we can kind of bring in the arm and we'll just set it down over here we're gonna call uh, one of these A and the other one B so we have a nice little reference and there we go okay now as we make a perpendicular bisector we will also happen to find the very exact middle of the segment AB all right, let's get started. So bring your compass and position the pointy end on either A or B. It doesn't matter where you start. You'll see in just a moment. And then we're going to extend the arm about halfway and then go just a little bit more than halfway. It doesn't have to be the full way. Please, not the full way. Just look it for halfway and there we go, a little bit beyond. And now we are going to use the compass to make an arc. Not a full circle, but a big chunk of the circle right there. And so, like so. And there we are. Now we flip it around. Careful not to change the uh, arm here. We have not changed this distance. We have only flipped it around. And we're going to put the metal part here down on B. And as you can see, it's, of course, a little bit more than halfway. And we're going to make another arc. And it's important that you intersect the first arc at two points, in the top and the bottom. And like so. At this point, it doesn't matter what the measure of the compass is. You can just set it down over here. So we have two new intersection points. One on top. Let's just call it C. And a little spot here on the, the bottom. And we're going to call that D. All right, now we're going to use our straight edge. So we're going to bring our straight edge over here, and we're going to line up the top with one of the dots. And ooh, looks like i got to make this a little bit longer. Magical ruler. There we are. And we're going to line up points C and D, and that should be about right there. And then use your pencil. Oops. Use your straight edge to mark the intersection. Okay, how did I do there? A little bit sloppy. Let me try that one more time. And like so. All right. And now we have a point right precisely in the middle. And we're going to call this E. And now we can say some nice things here about the nature of this segment. We can say AE is congruent to EB. We can also say that AEC is a right angle. And that has the angle right here and on the other side and here and on all sides of this angle. 